Hello, iCrack fans. I'm Ed Waldrop, Master Technician here at iCrack. So you may have seen somewhere where you could set your phone to January 1st, 1970, or a friend decided to play a prank on you. And now your phone has this beautiful Apple logo. We're going to show you how to correct this by using our do-it-yourself toolkit. First thing you want to do is shut off the phone. And since it's stuck at this logo, you're probably asking, how do I shut off my phone? It's really simple. You press the power button and the home button, continue to hold. You'll see the Apple logo disappear. And then it'll come back up and then it'll disappear again. Once it disappears, go ahead and release. Your phone is now off because we don't want to go into the phone with live power. In this kit, you're going to need the suction cup, the nylon spudger, the pry tool, the Phillips screwdriver, and the pencil lobe screwdriver. Using the pencil lobe screwdriver, we're going to remove the two pencil lobe screws located both left and right of the charging port. Now that the two pencil lobe screws are out, we're going to go ahead and take the suction cup. Mind you, this is an iPhone 6 right now. Place it just above the home button. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to gently lift the screen, creating a gap just above the headphone jack, which I'm going to insert my nylon pry tool to release the screen. I'm going to gently lift the screen up at about a 90 degree angle and remove the two Phillips screws holding the battery retaining bracket. Make sure you keep your screws organized because they are different lengths. The shorter screw goes on the outside and the longer screw will go on the inside toward the battery. Go ahead and remove the battery retaining plate and it gives you access to the battery cable located right here. Taking the pointed end of the nylon spudger, I'm going to gently come in here and just pop the battery cable up and I'm going to wait a few seconds and then go ahead and reseat the battery, put the retaining plate back on. and reinsert the two screws. So the reason for disconnecting the battery is because when you set your phone to January 1st, 1970, it crossed an issue where the CPU doesn't know what to do. It's been rumored that it's uh, an integer error, which basically causes it to crash. And by disconnecting the battery and reconnecting it, that sets the time back to normal and will allow the phone to boot back up. So I'm going to take the screen, set it back in by sliding it up the top of the frame, close it, Come down to the bottom, work my way up the sides. Remove my suction cup, and I'll go ahead and power it on. And it should boot right up. While it's booting, I'm going to go ahead and reinsert the pencil lobe screws. I just saw the Apple logo go bright, which tells me it's going to boot.
You notice it does take a little longer than usual, but it will boot. This was your iCrack crash course on how to correct the January 1st, 1970 bug. Please visit shop.icrack.com to pick up your iPhone repair toolkit. From all of us here at iCrack, thanks for watching.